can use targets to model transitions on roads. For example, on this road, we would wish to have a transition here whereby the road cross section changes so that there is a bus stop here. And we did a widening here to represent that bus stop. We created an offset alignment and then created a widening on that offset alignment from this station all the way to here. As you can see, there's, there's, a, there's that line that has a widening there. We escape. Therefore, we will use targets to target this this widening and therefore model this corridor to have a widening on the left lane at this portion of the corridor. How do we do that? We click on the corridor, right click, go to corridor properties. Once we have the corridor properties window, we go to the parameters tab here and at this region, the only region we have, there are three dots here, which can allow us to go to the targets window. Click on that. Once we are here, as you can see, we have a width target for the lens. Remember our assembly is composed of sub assemblies. And these are the sub-assemblies. There's the lane super elevation right. You can see this is the right side. There's the lane super elevation left. There's the shoulder right. And then there's a the shoulder left. Yeah. And here, yeah. for the lane super elevation right, we do not want it to have a target. So here we set it to none. And then here for the lens per elevation left, this is where we want the width target. We want that lane to target the left offset alignment. And once we click on that, we OK. Click on OK. Then OK again. And we are prompted to rebuild the corridor. Click on rebuild the corridor. And once that is done, you can see the widening now along the corridor. And here, you'll see there's a disconnect between the feature line created on the corridor and the offset alignment. How can we take care of that so that they are, uh, they, they, they correspond we click on the corridor again, right click, go to corridor properties, and now edit the frequencies. Here at the offset target, let's see, let's change these to two meters. prompted to rebuild the corridor. And now, as you can see, the frequency has increased. And now the feature line and the offset parameter now coincide.